Good morning guys, it is Monday and check it out, stupid snow man, to me this is, I mean Hustleby's going to say this is nothing, let's see where else we can go today, but really Portland after, this is what, third day, fourth day, fourth day, I mean what else can we really do out here, <laughs> we've gone and seen uh, at least most of the stores and uh, most of the other stuff would be like fun outdoor stuff we really don't care for that we're trying to make money but it's been okay uh hustle b like i showering right now shower super quick he probably doesn't even really lather himself or really shower right he just like two minutes max um so we're gonna see i don't know what we're gonna do today maybe actually i have no clue really don't out here, be out here, be ready. Ready. 943. Bright and early. Look at that. We should go work out. Yep. Yeah, we should go work out. Just kidding. We don't work out. We're gonna be slobs in Kansas City. So what's up everybody? It's sunny, it's cold, it's snowy. Snow boots! So we're going around, seeing what we can find, see where we haven't really gone to yet. Store number one, day number four. Ross, she got the shorts. What, $17.99? Yeah, not too bad. 50 bucks retail. Of course, for them, this is nothing. It's pretty cool. You can look those up. The bees are already going straight to the shoes. Activewear, Adidas, Puma. There we go. Win the day. Remember this? It's a pretty cool jacket. Found those in LA. Mavericks. UFC, $6.99. That one might be good. I'm gonna go back to the research. Oh, there's another one. Oh. These are pretty cool. Sewn, $17.99. It's a retail on this. It's kind of hidden. Attached. Can't see it. 80 bucks. It says what? Small? Extra small? Small. Maybe. There's another one here. We'll, re we'll do the research. Oh, they're both small. Kobe, super huge. $39.99, size 18. Women's section, cloud foam, filas. Random boots, other stuff. We haven't seen a lot of like Nike or athletic shoes, cleats, nothing. Women's section, I don't think since we've ever been here. Most of the stuff you notice too is like a lot of just different winter outdoor stuff. Here we go. Here's vans. It's probably like, oh, we haven't seen that many vans either. Only thing for kids, but women's. I think this is the first time. RBX, the only thing we see. Uh, the shorts, nothing. They're $17.99, selling for about $35. So, passing on those. Hustle Bee's buying like a big bag. Find of the day. Find of the day. So Huge bag. bag. What are going to put in there? All the BC3s? BC3s and some donuts, some snacks. Fill it up with hustler snacks. Hustler snacks. Oh, is this one? <laughs> You're going into the wrong one. Legit got me, dude. Legit got me. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you get on camera? Did you got that? Oh. <laughs> 
Were you advocating this? <laughs> it was it was all him. You guys parked and everybody didn't even hear you. I love that you flew out. Yeah. I thought I was a bear. A small bear. I was like, are you sure this is Can we slow mo the part where he's like, I made sure this jazz playing because we're probably going to catch up. Welcome. Awesome. You're not going to You're going to have to sit in the cold. Yeah. It's not cool. I know. I open up the door. She's like, close. I'm like, it's so nice out. It's cold either way. Not that far off that Evergreen Museum. No, I got just right down the road. That's, we passed by it exactly the same. All kinds of airplanes yeah. over there. When we went to uh, Lincoln City, we just passed by. Yeah, 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 you guys passed right by, right by here then. So now you can see our sourcing that we have down here. It's like, <laughs> we have one Ross. So, I mean, hit the Ross while you're here, and then we have one tiny Walmart, that's it. We have to drive 45 minutes out to get anywhere retail-wise. Is so, that like that Salem? Is that the yeah, Salem's the closest one. Yeah, they got Target, Toys R Us, three Ross. So that's kind of our, our first stop when we go out. So those, like, trees are, like, uh, great, great, uh, are the wineries? Mm. Oh, yeah. I've seen, like, some people in North. Oh, yeah, we've got, uh, just the whole Northwest, we've got over 400 wineries around here. Wow. 250 breweries. It's basically going to be music and booze. <laughs> Yeah. what we're known for. <laughs> and some food. We got some good food spots. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, a cool, pretty cool place. Yeah, yeah it's sure. a sweet setup. We'll show you guys the yeah. the, uh, the transition I guess we went through. Uh -huh. So we were, we started out of a garage. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah. We did that. So we built, you know, the beginning part was two years out of our garage, mm -hmm. which was probably just this the space room. right here. Um, and then we started looking around town and all the spaces around here were like 2000 bucks a month oh, wow. for something small like this. And it's like we couldn't do it. And then we stumbled upon this, the front part of the building Trista had called on. And he's like, yeah, it's a dollar square foot. We're like, dang, let's mm -hmm. do it. Um, so our first spot that we got was in here. Good. So what they did was they took the big bay and they built out the walls. So whoever had it before us wanted this office space. So this was the first spot that we had. Did you feel like it was just like a which is pretty sweet. Um, still a work in progress, as you see, I'm building out my Funko shelves. Very nice, that's what I like to see. <laughs> so I wanna have like a whole 90s collection of stuff going on on top of this. Um, so this was basically the first little space, and as you guys saw, if you follow our videos, we were um, doing all of our Amazon shipments out of this corner right here. Um, so this was what it started as, and we also have access to back here. And this is why we needed it, because all the stuff you're gonna see here is what was in our garage. So you can see why we needed the space. Okay. Oh man. So this is the, the eBay storage. <laughs> yeah. All this was sitting in our garage. Yeah. Uh, well, we started to really ramp it up during the last Q4, um, which is when we got this space. So this was basically it. So you can see how it's one big bay and they just built out the office space. Um, so this was so, kind of. So this is it. the wall from this storefront. Yeah. Yep. 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 So it's basically the big wall that separates everything. Um, so that's how the whole thing started. And again, when we started to get into wholesale for Amazon, um, and then one of our partners here, AJ. Here we have video. You know these guys. Hi. Nice to meet Hello. You. Hi. Hi. You. Glenn. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you guys? That's a nicer really introduction than what I got. I know. Uh, well, it's okay. <laughs> Equally scared me. You guys missed the best part because I'm the most skittish. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> yeah. So AJ runs wholesale primarily. So we partnered right. up, and this is where we built out like the second half of it. Um, so whoever had this spot before us, they actually had both bays and they're the ones that built out the office and then that wall that separates oh, it. Okay. So now that we basically have two different businesses going on, this is the wholesale part and then this is our part, um, we're going to start building out some stuff. We just got access to this a couple weeks ago actually. So it's still bare bones and what we want to do is we're going to cut a door because that's the office we were just in. We're going to cut a doorway this week. Um, so that way when we're picking out inventory, we're going to walk all the way around. So part, part of the easy this, but I'm going to walk yeah. straight through. We're going to stick So we're going to put a door there and to sub these tables, I actually want to build these out. Some of those, yeah. I want to build some of these guys out, which is super easy to do. So we're going to build that out going all the way around so we can get rid of the, the junk tables. And uh, that's basically the gig. For sure. Yep. Easy, simple, nothing fancy, but I get the yeah, I'll just need space, more space, more inventory you can push mm. Cause that's the goal is to outgrow this. Mm -hmm. Like we want to have something that's two or three times the size and be running a whole bunch of wholesale through Amazon is what we want to do. Yep. That's so we ate lunch with Chaz, hung out a little bit. Now this is day number four, store number two. And look at that, it's already empty. Ross. <laughs> 
All right, active wear rockets. What is this, Mitchell Ness? Oh, it's Adidas. Oregon, we saw that one. When we went. Oh. Oh. Hyperdunks. Hyperdunks. Four. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Oh, so expensive. Boom. <laughs> um, hmm. hmm. Under Armour. Relentless resale special. Ooh, dude, this is not bad. Right here. <laughs> this? What's this? Twenty-one ninety-nine. Oh. What size. Your size? Eight and a half. I'm gonna check comps. USA, right? I'm not too thrilled about it. Stop being so picky. Yeah. Oh, Ooh! Spurry Dance. <laughs> 54? They're expensive. Plastic. <laughs> Plastic. Feel that. Yeah. Feel that. Hello. How much? Hello. 60 bucks. Hello. Here we go. Your favorite Kobe's of all time. What are those? <laughs> exactly. What are those? Barclays. Oh, Barclays. Like random stuff at this one. Oh, yeah, this is different. This, we've never seen this before. Puma 3699. Vans. RBX. Fuck dark. Puma. A lot of those curries. No, I'm crazy. Yeah. What are those? I'm in like a whole section now. Limited edition RBX. Like it's kind of different. Yeah. Like over here we don't get that much. This is Marshalls and crazy. Okay, like, we'll have to check that one out. Yeah, this is good stuff. Like stuff. Like the last time I went there, I saw some Kobe tents for like ninety. I was like, I passed. Yeah. <laughs> there was some Gucci shoes for four hundred. Oh, I know. Wow. I know. Those, those, those those still those. hard though. Yeah. I know. I was yeah. like, I passed them. So I slept them. I was like, I ain't got that much money. Bro. Yeah. I just, I just want to buy those. Oh, okay. It looks hard though. Yeah. <laughs> right, take it easy, bro. Take My care, name man. is Javier. All right, nice to meet you, man. All right, see, see you. See you. All take right, care, guys. Store number three, day number four, Burlington. Burlington. Let's go. Ski boots. Ski boots. How much? Eighty nine. It's got the twisty too. Isn't that how much it was at um? Mm -hmm. Where else did we go? San Jose, where they had them. Oh look. Oh, Oh, 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Yeah, put those back. Bro, that's vapor. Regular. Why? I don't know. Be great. They are? Oh, dang it. You still get them? It might be worth it. I got to do a run comp. different stuff in here. Dude, I haven't seen irregulars ever at my outlet. Ever. Like ever in my... No, until here. Until here. You found so many big here. Yeah. Check this out. <laughs> Lunar. Check this out. <laughs> Olympics. Oh, boost. Boost. Bet that's like uh, vapor or something. Lunar vapor. Oh. Thank you, lunar control vapor. Mm -hmm. uh, people have them for about it's a mix. 89.99. It is a B grade, but then again, it is only 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Someone sold a B grade for 80.99 and a size eight and a half. Told you. So. Yeah. It is what it is. This one, someone has them uh, for 75 listed. None have sold. 16.99. It is a size 12 though. Size 12? No, pass. We'll get those. Well, at least for sure, but. All right, day number four, store number five, Ross. Size 14? 39? No insult? 
Uh, yeah, Vincent. Uh, there you go, you want these? Vapor Max. <laughs> <laughs> Reebok Vapor Max. Oh, your favorite shoe. Old I and know, faithful. you knew it was going to happen. Carlos Special. Carlos Relentless. In another one. <laughs> Day number four, store number six, Marshall. All right, what do they got? Alpha Bounce, Reebok. Different Alpha color. Bounce, different one. Gray, Sock Dart, New Balance. Pro model. For some reason, like these Marshalls don't have anything new, like, or anything like kind of unique. They're just like the same. These would be good, but it's 80 bucks. I got a lot of them too. Should be so good. Like that was it was cheaper, ago. but it's in an Under Armour boot a lot too. <laughs> that's all, folks. That's it, and that's all, man. Small shoe section. Nothing to see here. Why do they have so many of those gators? Everywhere, even here, <laughs> like Lost how far away are from Florida, and they still get them, <laughs> and nobody wants them. All right, we're gonna do out hustled breakdown of the numbers, actually, and day by day, because random stuff happened throughout. Number one, we definitely didn't do a full day of sourcing because we met with Chaz, Nicole. The first day. Lunch, yeah, all of that. They we went downtown area, showed us Death Rada, coffee. Sneaker shops. Sneaker shops. So we didn't start until like four, three or four. Yeah, yeah something like that. Uh so that was like what, nine stores or something. Yeah, we only did nine stores. Uh, we only did two Nike outlets and uh basically pretty much around downtown. Uh Whichever was close to And the only main up. main thing was like the gold toes <laughs> that we picked up. Yeah, so that was a highlight. Um, it ended up the gold toes are pretty uh, limited. Uh, more limited than what it thought it was. And I was able to win it here in Portland. And I was able to get Glenn size. Because this guy don't get anything in El Paso. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the bad thing about most of these finds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> number one gold toes my size number two I mean we picked the Kyrie's which was my size too more than likely yeah. they're gonna keep uh, fade the black gobies my size I mean those are those are pairs that like good money can be made yeah. as long as I don't keep them and also we got BC threes for our wives uh, which were yes yeah, so yeah. we're keeping so that's uh, right off <laughs> <laughs> right off um, uh, day number two Day number We two. drove far to Lincoln City. That and outlet, which ended up doing well, well with 16, 16, pairs, 16 pairs. So that there. helped. And we picked up <laughs> my pairs. I won two oh, pairs yeah. of Black Cement 3s, which was $200 each, which really, it was okay because they didn't have sales tax. So right then, <laughs> spent $400. With really really low fines, <laughs> but yeah. um, and then that's when we also found the Kobe's fade to black. Fade to black. Then at Buffalo Exchange, then we had the meetup. Mm -hmm. So that was at six thirty. So that was another whole afternoon part. Not you know we're we weren't gonna source. Yeah, we were just pretty much we got there early bit early. Um, we got there at like yeah like five thirty five like thirty before yeah hour before so that's another thing but that was more about like the networking part mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. so that's where we got to meet of course a lot of cool yep. sellers everybody in the area some more networking there now the next day after that which is day three we were able to go to the Nike company store or the employee store what they yeah. call it and I don't know I think we were just overwhelmed. <laughs> But oh, and it was jam-packed. It was jam-packed Sunday, uh, yeah. holiday weekend, and I guess it's just always packed there. I mean, I would assume it, it would be one of the highlights here in Portland to visit the Nike employee store. So uh, we were just 
Yeah, uh, you know, it, it was just an experience that we were just taking in. We spent, you know, maybe two hours in there. Mm -hmm. we, I mean, we found ourselves just going in circles. So <laughs> we just yeah. keep going back and forth. But like, all the stuff that we picked up, though, only came out to like 600 whatever bucks. We're yeah. talking about like the, uh, two the Air Maxes. Yeah, two Kyries that it picked up. The Air Max that it picked up. The, the, shocks, the shocks. Two of the BC3s for kids. Uh, and a Tempo Legend. Yeah, Tempo. That's already seven. Mm hmm. What else um, did we pick up? Kobe jersey. The Kobe jersey. That so was eight. Yeah. So um, really good. We picked up something else though. I thought. I well, remember. we didn't get the equality Kyrie's. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that was at least eight things. Um, most of them being shoes. All came out to six hundred bucks. So, I mean, that's like a really, really good deal there. Mm -hmm. But it also depends what we're gonna sell or keep or whatever. Because the shocks too. I was like, oh, also I liked them. So if I keep those, that's another hit. So. That's yeah, a bad thing it. when you love sneakers. Don't know what to keep. Don't know what to sell. Don't get high on your own supply, like they would say. It. That but, happens. Yeah. After that, uh, we met up with Nate. Uh, had Nate lunch. Had lunch. Super cool dude. Yeah. We just, More networking. Yeah. We just chopping up. You know about talking about sneakers, the limited sneakers, the Oregon releases and stuff like that. So uh, it was a pretty cool, chill afternoon. And then after that. We actually went to a Centralia, Washington, which was like an know, hour and a half or hour forty-five drive away, all the so, way over there. So we went up there, and it was a clearance store. Uh, they did have a sale; it was twenty percent of the entire store. Um, we didn't really find a lot of the shoes, you know. Uh, also, considering that next week will be the friends and family, so mm -hmm. uh, you know we pretty much kind of like assumed that they're not really gonna mark everything down because they're gonna run a thirty percent sale. The next week uh, but we did pick up 38 shirts <laughs> um, uh, this was from uh, the artist Hebrew but um, yeah we got a pretty good deal with it and uh, pretty exclusive uh, design. they're like ten dollars each or something yeah so were, yeah so it was it was definitely worth it and then they're so easy to uh, carry ship and pack so we got those and that's what we did that night right and then we came home and just ate at Applebee's again. Oh, and we've then, been eating nothing but Applebee's. And then like it slug. snowed. It uh, snowed. So that night it snowed. So clean, Super snow. Super snowy. We probably had about half an inch last night. So we got home. We woke up today. We kind of just took our time today. I really didn't have anything uh, crazy planned today. Because yeah. also they don't have like a lot, a lot of stores. Mm -hmm. So the reason... In case you were wondering, the reason why we even came to Portland was because of the whole Hustle B, Nicole, bet. And so, as far as expenses go, um, Hustle B covered in that part because she paid for the flight. Yep. So, that's what really brought us to the Portland thing to begin with. Of course, we were hyped up about the Nike employee store, so that got us going. Uh, but other than that, I don't know if <laughs> we were really going to come yeah, to Portland just, for just any be, other yeah. reason. Because of the uh, amount of stores, I think they only have under 20 stores that we yeah, usually they have, so they have way less under 20 to stores. Else. We usually go to cities that have over 40 or up to 50 stores. Uh, but yeah, and then also considering the fact that um, it's first quarter, you know, we've talked about this, that um, stores are not really fully... Uh, restocked yet um, in all the stores and one of the things too that since it's a uh, a cold area winter cold area a lot of the stores here will carry a lot of the boots rain boots uh, snow boots ski boots so Marshalls was loaded with that kind of yeah, stuff. yeah so these are things that we usually don't pick up you know because usually there there's not a lot of market for it so um you know that kind of affected the variety of the stuff that they had uh in the stores that we usually go to so but that's understandable and we're learning from this kind of experience uh but definitely you know the highlight again was uh the meetup that we did here uh, you know i beat nicole state on her f a race to 30k and um so she she flew me in here uh we had the meetup and we get to go to the nike employee store and we met, uh, we met up with a lot of good people. So today we actually just went and chilled and we were just going down Southern Oregon and we pretty much just text uh, Chaz, Side Hustle Pros, thank you so much. Um, he actually took us to lunch 
and we just sat out and just you know chill at his warehouse took a tour we actually scared Chaz and Trista <laughs> so you guys might see the video of it it was fun uh, just to hang out with somebody you know that loves what we do what loves what they do and just share ideas and, and then we just went to other stores there Burlington yeah, Ross and Salem like that. Salem Oregon we went yeah. to uh, a few Burlington and a uh, one Burlington and few Rosses there so that was just like a couple of finds it wasn't even anything that yeah. that awesome the thing that we did notice though at least seen like Carlos other people on that side like Florida East and then going all the way west yeah like it takes time for for some reason it just seems like they get everything before everybody else does right. so if you're coming from that side more than likely you'll find some of the stuff that you won't see and then I'm kind of towards like the middle the area middle, yeah. so then I, I see stuff I think before some of the California people so mm -hmm. kind of just goes like that and so also like, I mean I've been telling Glenn I mean I think it's just the sunny areas <laughs> You know, because, I mean, of course, you got to cater to the winter, the winter yeah, gears, exactly. but they don't get any winter gears as much as all of the stores in the colder parts of the U.S. So. Yeah, so we'll get more, like, athletic wear mm -hmm. and shoes, things like that, compared and sneakers compared to yep. boots and yep. things. We don't even see a lot of that stuff mm -hmm. in my area. So let's get into the final numbers. Mm -hmm. um, quit milking it. What are you guys talking about? Just get to the final numbers. Right, right, right. Okay, so the final numbers are not great. And actually, it's the lowest it's ever been uh, out of the out hustles. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of one, not a lot of stores, two, the time and the area or location, like mm -hmm. you said, winter time, and um, of course also it being it, being early in the year. So um, some of the highlights we talked about, we did pick up the Kyries, you picked up the black cements, I picked up the gold toes, we mm -hmm. did all that. Um, some of the uh we did pick up some uh, prestos that were pretty cheap mm -hmm. prestos on the back wall were like 39.99 extra 20 percent yeah off. so those those are pretty cheap for men's not kids mm -hmm. so that helped of course the kobe's we found those the mm -hmm. uh uh fade to black and um the shirts the clothing that helped us out there mm -hmm. so in total they came out to one thousand five hundred and fifty dollars combined that's <laughs> projected profit profit so not sales hmm. profit the actual money to be made so split that in half roughly about seven hundred and seventy five dollars profit each and the reason why it's a little bit different this time also profit wise because we're not shipping any big boxes back yeah. so this is everything that we fit in our suitcases, suitcases. so there's we're no not paying. E extra expenses yeah no extra expenses that way uh, so Mm, I mean, the good thing is these trips are profitable. Mm -hmm. The bad thing is just depends where we're going and what time, all that. Mm -hmm. The good thing is we get to meet a whole bunch of people, right. and it's super exciting, networking part, all that's like the best part mm -hmm. about Hustled, I at mean, least this case, because the very first one was non-stop hustling. Right. So now we're doing a, um, a meetup every single city. The next one's going to be... Well, actually, after Kansas City, we go to the Florida one. That one's going to be insane because we're trying to do three meetups. I don't know how that's going to happen. Right. Or we'll try out. it, right? At least we'll try it. We can't We can't say that um, we haven't tried it. At least we will try it. So that's the exciting part again, uh, meeting everybody that has uh, followed our journey and that um, have helped us, and we have helped as well. So uh, that's that's been very fulfilling. And that's the beauty of what we do. Uh, we get to travel, we get to see new places. I don't know with, if I will be able to visit Fort Portland without <laughs> being in the reselling uh, business. So that's the awesome part. Uh, we get to see a lot of places, a lot of uh, again, people. cool people. We meet cool people in uh, different stores and just experience uh, what they have in their city. So. So next month, Kansas City, we have Reseller Fam Conference. We're going to be doing that. We have two different workshops. I'm going to be talking about Merch by Amazon. Also, be talking about Retail Arb for eBay. So, of course, all the Ross finds and Burlington finds, all of that. And then Florida, Tampa, Orlando, Miami. We're going to see how this goes. That's going to be uh, like nonstop finds and meetups. That one's going to be, I think, the funnest 
probably and also I think high potential finds right. because it's a combination of both. There's a lot of there's a lot of stores, period. And then it's in Florida it's, compared to this. It's late in April already. It was scheduled it late in April. So have some know, time to rebuild. Rebuild and also I mean just bust out some shorts. I'm just tired of wearing some hoodies. <laughs> So hopefully weather's gonna be perfect. Hopefully uh, we'll be able to put in our uh, put on our speedos for Miami and see how that speedos. goes. Speedos, <laughs> <laughs> those hustle thongs. Like I was telling uh, Carlos, relentless yeah. resell. Yeah. So was, Carlos said he has his bikinis ready and mankini, uh, mankini. So um, <laughs> he should definitely take us to some spots. And so hopefully we'll do something more fun. I was telling Glenn maybe rent a couple of jet skis and we'll. Well, jet ski this ocean. <laughs> I don't know how this guy do, do underwater, so we'll figure it out. Maybe yeah, we'll, we'll scare him. That's <laughs> scary. <laughs> All right, so we're done there, and uh, we're probably just gonna eat like slobs again for tonight, and then tomorrow early flight. flight. Alrighty, so that it is. That's it for Out Hustled for Portland. Thank you, and as we say it in Hustler Hacks YouTube channel, go, go out, out and, and get, get it. it.